and welcome back to The Long Run, where we are playing The Longest Journey. Last time, we kind of accidentally a ship, and uh, now here we are on this island, attempting to unite two peoples that used to be one. And also, here's Crow. Say hello, Crow. Uh, let, me, let me use you on this debris. I always keep forgetting that I can use the bird on things. Use the bird on the sea. Chuck the bird into the sea. What can you tell me about the island, Crow? Only what I've been able to see from above. There's a volcano, dead I think, and lots of jungle, and some nice beaches. I'd like to explore the jungle, but I'm afraid I'm going to get lost. Any ideas? Well, I could stay airborne and keep track of where you are. That way I could direct you if... Sorry, when you get lost. Damn. Sounds like a super plan, Crow. Let's go. Oh, I guess that's exactly what I was supposed to do. Here's the beach, and now we can get to the volcano. She rumbling. The rumbling is much fiercer here, and the ground is really shaking. It's definitely seismic. It has got to be emanating from this volcanic mountain. I mean, it looks dead, but it must be about to wake up or erupt or something. Great! After surviving a shipwreck, being kidnapped by fishes, and learning to breathe in water, I'm about to die in a volcanic eruption? Isn't that ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain. Use bird in mouth. Have the statue eat the bird. That sure is an animation. It's also a bit glitchy, honestly. It's a small, eye-sized aperture with a crystal in it, like a lens. Maybe some kind of telescope? Oh, hey. What a strange symbol. Also, thank you for reminding me to, uh, to grab the, the Triforce key. Yeah, there are those symbols again, and I'm pretty sure that these are probably numbers, and the first symbol that was there is the number one. Okay, that's the three. That's the four. Five. We don't have this one. Okay. So let me write that down. So it's this. And then a jagged line there. Seven. Looks like a five. An eight. Looks like that. And a nine. Oh, that's a fancy symbol. Takes us back to I don't see anything interesting. It's a statue standing in the ruins of a city. I can see a statue on a cliff overlooking the sea. Oh. Okay. I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. 
It's a statue just below a really tall tree. I don't see anything interesting. Somebody's looking back at me. Oh, wait. That's just my eye. The lens is turned into a mirror. Good to know that April is aware of her own eyes. I don't see anything interesting. Okay, I'm gonna leave the key here for a second. That's one mother of a tree. It's gotta be at least a hundred meters tall. Oh, and it says something about the... yeah, okay. So I kind of accidentally solved that mini puzzle. The top half of the statue depicts a creature with a big mouth calling out. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. So I've written that down. This animation again. I don't see anything interesting. It's a statue standing in the ruins of a city. Statue standing in the ruins of a city. I think that's the statue that we, uh, like the totem that, uh, you're looking at. I can see a statue on a cliff overlooking the sea. Maybe that's the one. Statue. Cliff. Or a sea. I can see a statue on a cliff overlooking the sea. I don't see anything interesting. Nothing. I don't see anything interesting. Nothing. I don't see anything interesting. Nothing. It's a statue just below a really tall tree. Um, statue. Tall tree. Yes, I am. I don't see anything interesting. Except the ones that aren't interesting. Somebody's looking back at me. Oh, wait. That's just my eye. The lens is turned into a mirror. Okay, so what we got from that... So I'm, I'm writing this on, like, a small prescription bag. It's like crinkly paper. So two has a statue at City Ruins, three has a statue of a cliff overlooking the sea, uh, six has a statue below a tall tree, and nine is a mirror. Nothing else has something interesting. The prescription is to solve the puzzle. That's a huge tree. There's a large object in the tree crown. Now, is there anything else here? I don't think there is. Let's check out the large tree. 
dry twigs and sticks. The dry? Dry 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 twigs and sticks. Good dog. Dry twigs and sticks. <laughs> crack, crack, crack the crack into the crack. The bottom half of the statue depicts a creature listening, while the top part depicts a similar creature calling out. Okay, so this is this is statue number six. The one at the cliff that we saw before is statue number three. But now what do we do with this? Like what do we sequence this to? Okay, so my figuring is this. Let's go back and look at the statue again. The bottom half of the statue depicts a creature listening, uh -huh. while the top part depicts a similar creature calling out. The top one is a transmitter. The bottom one is a receiver, so... First of all, we gotta figure out what the top one is out here. So, what if we want to transmit to the cliff at the sea? So if I'm right, this is going to transmit and receive from the cliff of the sea. I don't know what good that does. It's teeming with life. Foos, I did not ask you for a solution in this case. Please don't tell me no. Well, now that you've told me, then what am I missing? Empty spaces are to nowhere. So nine reflects back. Oh. Dry oh. twigs and sticks. I don't think that's just a dry twigs and sticks. This is a dude. Dry twigs and sticks. Dry twigs and sticks. Dry twigs and tricks. I look like a real sailor. Arr, Mikey. It 
creates a triangular hole, like a... Yes, yes. Anyway, so obviously these are characters... Dow. Oh, Shh. there we go. Who's there? Duh. him. I know there's somebody there. I heard you. Is she gone? <laughs> nope. She's still around. Shut up, shut up, shut up. If you won't come out, I'll just sit down here and wait. Sooner or later, you'll have to show yourself. Solar Eclipse! Oh my god! Ah! I hate this place. I so hate it, I can't even sit down without crushing the natives. Big person alert! What are you? What does it look like? Um, a talking twig? We're stickmen. And you're an accident waiting to happen with your large, ungainly body and wobbly legs. Hey, who are you calling wobbly legs? What's a stick man? An unlucky bugger doomed to a miserable life of stiff backs and monotonous drudgery in the shadow of a mother tree. Happy little fella, ain't ya? You have no idea. This is just making me think of, uh, what was it, King's Quest five? Five or six. The character is literally the stick in the mud. So, you guys are stick men? That's right. I'm Wick. This is Willow. And that dumb looking one over there is Woody. And this is our mother tree. What's a mother tree? What do you mean, what's a mother tree? It's a mother tree. How difficult can it be? It's our mother, and it's a tree. It's a mother tree. Well, I think you're a mother. What do stickmen do? What do we do? What do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? Well, the people in this world always do something. Like the Bonda dug tunnels in the earth. The Marum killed Snapjaw and covered their houses with Tan Yen. You gotta do something. Hey, it ain't easy being a stick, let me tell you. You got your stiff back and limbs. Your fear of fire and water. You're 300 years of miserable boredom, and then you have to get planted and raise a family. It ain't easy. So, you're not doing anything worthwhile then. Lady, I'm miserable. I'm grumpy, and I got a headache. What do you want from me? The stick is very relatable. Where do the elation live? The elation? The guys with wings? Up in the volcano. There's an old city in there. I think they're squatting. How do I get into the volcano? You don't. The road collapsed a few centuries ago, and when traders come, the elation fly down to meet them. Nobody goes up there anymore. What's that constant rumbling noise? Lady, you have no idea what we have to endure. All day, all night, that noise is just murder. It all started when Kwaman, the quiet giant, would you believe that's what we used to call him, was banished by the Orowal from his perfect fishing place to some remote place in the forest. Whoa, information overload. Let's step back for a minute to fill in the details. Who's Kwaman, the quiet giant? He's the scariest human we've ever seen. He stands tall as a mountain and uses whole trees for toothpicks. But he was a quiet type and reasonably gentle for a human. He'd spend his days out by the Olawal village catching fish and frying fish and eating fish and looking out across the ocean dreaming about loose women or whatnot. Ah, uh, the, the American dream. What happened to get the Quiet Giant banished from that place? The Orowal got scared when he accidentally stepped on one of their young ones. He didn't do any real harm, 
But they banished him from their village nonetheless, and told him to go far into the forest. Who are the Orlowal? They're the crab-like creatures who live down by the sea. Ah, they're nice people, if a little crabby. <laughs> and it's hard to understand what they're saying half the time. Where's Kwaman now? Somewhere in the forest east of here, we don't know where exactly. He went there to get as far away from the Aura Wall as possible. So what does all this have to do with the rumbling noise? Oh, I was getting to that. If you just let me get a word in edgewise. I just had some questions is all. Anyway, Guaman is the brooding type. And he takes everything so to heart, he got instantly depressed and went to sleep. And what is he doing now? Still sleeping. That's the problem. But how long ago was it that the Orlawal banished him? The last full moon. Nearly 30 sunsets passed. He's been sleeping for a month? He was depressed. What do you want, lady? Once I got so miserable I slept for eight years. And let me tell you, those eight years were the happiest of my life. Yeah, I could go for eight years of sleep, let me tell you. Boost life goals. How can you sleep for eight years when you're made of wood? That makes it real easy. I still don't understand what this has to do with the rumbling noise. See that statue over there? Sure. What's up with that? Back when the Dalmari lived on this island ages ago, they put these statues up all around the island so that they could speak with each other. You're kidding. So they're, like, telephones? Tell her what? I don't know what that is. The thing is, these statues are all connected through magic. And when you speak into one, your voice flies through the air and comes out of another statue. But I still don't understand... You saw the big head up by the mountain? Yes. That's the one they use to talk to everyone on the island, to warn people of storms or to hold evening prayer. It's connected to the statues as well. And Kwaman is sleeping right next to a statue's ear. I get it. Resonance. He's snoring and the deep bass reverberating through the loudspeaker, the big head, causes a resonance that vibrates the entire island. But can't you just wake him up? We don't know where he is. We're not much for exploring this forest. There's water and fire and monkeys. Monkeys like to play with sticks. We don't like monkeys. But can't you just, well, send your voice to his telef... statue to wake him up? There are four problems with that. Number one, all the statues have an assigned symbol, an identifying mark. But we don't know which his is. Second, most of the statues are broken in some way or another. What do you mean? Some statues can only talk to certain other statues. Some can't be spoken to, and some can't hear. Which makes it very difficult to get a connection through to where you want to send your voice. Number three. In order to use the statues, you need a key. We don't have it. We don't know where it is. And number four? We're stickmen, lady. What do you think? We don't know much about magic or magical devices. And, and... And what? Uh, we're not too smart, okay? There, I said it. We're not too smart. And when you look at Woody over there, who's pretty stupid by Stickman standards, that's a pretty scary thought. That's rude. Sorry, I asked. Well, I guess this is where I would have found out that, um... Well, pretty much just what you told me, Foose. I'll see you guys later then. If you don't step on us first. Hi, I'm Willow. Wick's the oldest. Woody's the youngest. And I'm just stuck in the middle as always. Don't let me keep you. Wick's the boss as always. Go talk to him. Hello, I'm Woody. 
They call me the stupid one, cause I'm kinda slow, so don't let me keep you busy. I was born with a big brain, so I can't move as fast as my two brothers. I can only do useless stuff like calculations and design, and I play a few instruments, and I'm writing a book on the flora and fauna of Aleas. I wouldn't call you stupid, buddy. He's a stick man. He's a stick man. He's a stick man. <laughs> a, a deep dive into April Ryan's mind. He's a stick man. He's a stick man. Everyone's a stick man. Okay. Um the tree, I guess. Wooden crossbow. It's a big wooden crossbow, I guess. I wonder who built it and what it's for. If I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Alation village. If I could somehow get across... Uh, let's see. Well, I could probably make like a rope bridge or something, but like... I, I would need something to attach this rope to in order to like launch it. At least I imagine so. Yeah. Crossbow, short range and speed compared to a longbow, but superior damage and armor piercing. Also, this crossbow doesn't really look like it's good at being moved anywhere. So what if we take another look at the uh, at the big mouth now? Well, technically, that's a ballista. <laughs> I mean, actually, you're probably not wrong on that. I don't see anything interesting. I'm probably not going to actually the statue notice standing in the, the ruins end. of a city. I can see a statue on a cliff overlooking the sea. I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. It's a statue just below a really tall tree. I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. Yeah. Somebody's looking back at me. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. So looking at that, we don't really see where the uh, the giant is. Creature with large ears. Okay, so I'm sure that 
the solution has something to do with the um with the symbols here, but like we don't know where we don't know where the uh the giant is. So like if we don't know where the giant is, then we can't really call him. Ah, crap, I left my key somewhere. Alright, I left my key at the, at the, uh, the big mouth. Me and my big mouth. Yeah, long bows are long. I don't know if you know. Okay. That's a huge tree. There's a Yes, yes. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. So which one was which again? The top half of the statue depicts a creature with a big mouth calling out. Okay. Top one is the tra is the transmitter. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. And the bottom one is the receiver. I was kind of wondering, like, maybe if I listen to all the different statues, I'll be able to figure out which one it is. But then what do I do with that information? And I forgot the key again. Yeah, hand cannon sounds kind of terrifying, honestly. That doesn't sound... Well, there, go <laughs> there it goes. It cracks me up every time. Actually, hang on. Wondering if Crow has anything new to say. Probably not. I guess he's not around. I should try again later.
It's very loud here. Actually, come to think of it, this is probably nine. Because if we look into nine and we just see ourselves, then this is probably nine. It's basically saying, like, you are here, dummy. You big dummy. That's a huge tree. There's a large object in the tree crown. All right, anyone got any insight? Like, maybe not a straight answer, but like pointing me in the right direction. Who built that big crossbow in the tree? I did. Well, I thought of it, and these two nincompoops gave a helping twig on the, uh, manual side. So they built it, and you supervised? Yep, but it's not done. There are still a few pieces missing before we can blast off for Luna. Did you say blast off for Luna? That's what I said, Luna. As in the moon? The same. You intend to go to the moon using that... thing? Lunar cannon. And yes, that's the plan. You guys are loonies! <laughs> if by loonies you mean visionaries, then yes, yes we are. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why! So, if the noise stops, you'll go back to work on your cannon? That's the plan. Okay. Later, guys. I need to make a network, but like, I still don't know. Excuse me. So, do I need to write down what is available on every wheel that I see? Okay. Oh crap, I need to... Why did I not put these in the charger? I have Bluetooth earbuds that have just been sitting on my desk rather than sitting in the charger. Maybe I want some paper that's not as loud. Also a chair that's not as loud. Holy crap. Someday, I promise you, I will have a chair that you know, isn't this. Oh, 
Almost that. A uh, mountain of pillars or huge beam. That doesn't sound as co as comfortable as you think it sounds. Yeah, I've had both, Alexander. I've had just a normal ass computer chair. I've had a big old gamer chair. They always go bad. This one just went bad a lot faster. And I am not in a financial position to be able to afford new chairs. Okay, so this is the, the statue. So let me just mark this down as this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here at statue six. We don't have one or two. We have three. We don't have four, we don't have five, we have six, we have seven, we have eight, and we don't have nine. On the bottom, we've got one, two, and nine. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. We don't have three or four. We have five. It's a triangular hole. Yes, I like know. A keyhole. We have six. It's a triangular oh, hole. Oh my! F Shut up. Seven, eight, and nine. So from 6 we can transmit to 3, we can also transmit to 6, but why would we? And we, got, we can also transmit to 7 and 8. No, this is... This is incorrect. I want to drop two thousand dollars on a Napa leather massaging heated and ventilated. I don't need my my chair heated. It's been heated enough this summer. Honestly, I would I would be all right with a chair that is moderately comfortable and doesn't start creaking after sitting on it for three seconds. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Gee, I wonder what this triangular hole is. It's like a keyhole, but like I don't know. Okay, so this is a statue overlooking a cliff. Well, this is three. So we can transmit to two. It's a triangular hole, three, like a keyhole. Four. Five. We don't got six, seven, eight, and then we got 
that receive from one two, but not nine. Now three. Now four. We got five. No six. We got seven and eight. Okay, so this one will transmit to two, three, four, five, seven, and eight and receive from one, two, five, seven, and eight. This one's completely disconnected from nine. This one's also completely disconnected from six which is the one at the tree. It cannot transmit or receive. Well, we haven't seen two at all. Two is a statue of a looking city ruins. But she didn't mention which city ruins. Because these, I don't think, are city ruins. This just looks like a village. Statue in my room only seems to transmit the symbol shaped like J-Pop's mom. Gotta watch out about talking about J-Pop's mom because that's also Zero's mom. Oh, this statue. And Zero's living with his mom, so... Okay, so this is two. So we got one, two, and nine. One, two, and nine. We also got three. We don't got four. Four five. Wait, what? Why is nine there? Let me read that again. We got nine, one, and two. We don't got three. Oh, we don't got three. Or right, that we do have three. Oops. We got four. We got five. We got six. We don't have seven or eight. And we have nine. I think I was reading the wrong one the first time. But here we have nine, we have one, we don't have two. We have three. We have four. We have five. We have six, we don't have seven. It's a triangular hole. Uh, we have eight. Okay. So. Yeah, and donut, Donut's mom too. Mom had three children that make the shape of a keyhole. <laughs> Okay, the network has to start at the large tree and end at the mouth. It 
So six can transmit to three, but it can't transmit to two. Three can transmit to two, but not six. Two can transmit to six, but not three. And of the three statues that we have access to, only two can transmit to nine. So two's got to transmit to nine. Two's got to transmit to nine. Uh, two can tr can be transmitted at by three. And then six can transmit to three. Now is the reverse true? So can three receive from six? No, three cannot receive from six. Two can receive from six as well as transmit to six. Can we go backward? So two can receive from nine, can't transmit to three. I guess what I'm missing here is I'm not really quite sure what my goal is. is to connect the tree to the mouth. The mouth broadcasts to all statues on the island. Well, I can transmit from 6 to 3 to 2 to 9. And 6 is the tree, 3 is the sea, Two is this one, and then nine is uh is the primary. Five to find three or one. But the, pro the problem that I'm running into is that presumably 9 listens to everything, everything, everywhere all at once. Let's just make the joke. Um, but, uh, so 9 listens to everything. 2 can listen to 3. Three can't listen to six. Three is completely disconnected from six. Yeah, I have a transmission route from uh, from tree to cliff to ruins to mouth. 
But are you just saying that I just need to worry about the transmission route and I don't need to worry about listening? Yeah, each statue has to listen to the previous one on the route, and that's, that's what I'm running into. Three cannot listen to six. So it has to start at six and end at nine. Six can't transmit to two. I am so confused. Sorry if there's a lot of silence here and not doing anything, but like, I'm trying to brain this out and my brain is not cooperating. There's <laughs> no silence, only creaking. Eh, yeah, well. I mean, I could just push this button here and then there there would be silence. It's like my old bones. Chair is corrupting us, creaking into our mind. Call the Ghostbusters. Yeah, I've been watching Extreme Ghostbusters with a friend of mine and... Uh, there is an episode, I think it's, I don't remember exactly which episode it was, I think it was like episode 5 or something, that just straight up ends with the trans flag, two years before the trans flag was a thing. It's kind of rad. Prophecy. Okay, so I... I mean, I, I could try to puzzle this out, but in the, in the interest of keeping things moving, I think I'm gonna have to ask for a step forward here. Three cliff runes now. Yeah, six three two nine. That's what I have. Okay. Uh, the this trying to describe symbols over text. In fact, trying to describe symbols in the first place is not going to get us anywhere. This is one. This is nine, and everything between that is you know as the numbers go, unless you don't have a chart of the symbols, which that would make things a little complicated, I suppose.
Okay, I guess you don't have a chart. Um, yeah, so 6 transmits to 3, transmits to 2, transmits to 9. And then 6 listens to 7. Six listens to seven? Why? And then two listens to three? Yeah, two two listens to three. The seven wasn't anything interesting. Okay, let's let's have our review of numbers here. Where's my exit? Go to the one place that has all of them. It's a keyhole. One, two, three. Four, five, six. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. Yes, thank you. Seven. I know it looks like a five, but it's number seven because that's the order. Eight. Nine. Seven doesn't look at anything interesting. Now let's let's go back and uh just in case she says something different now. A one, two, three. It's a statue just below a really tall tree. Did I write this down the entire fucking time? Ah, boy, oh boy. So that's not six, that is seven. Seven. So that's not six three two nine. That is seven three two nine. Okay, it doesn't matter what seven is listening to. Three can listen to seven. Two can listen to three and transmit to nine. There. Okay. So this entire time I wrote it down wrong. And that's what was causing the problem. So seven transmits to three. Transmit is the top one, right? Yes. 
Which one is three? It's the kind of pawn looking one. Okay, and seven, actually, yeah, seven listens to seven. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's a creature with a big mouth. Again, wrong way. I look like a real sailor. One <laughs> sense to me because I'm number one. Number one. Okay, so currently seven is transmitting to three. <laughs> also, you say one sense to you. But if I go to the statue and, uh, and dial it into number one, she's just going to say that she doesn't see anything interesting. Oh, burn! Uh, forgot the damn key. <laughs> It's like the puzzle so much, you want to run around <laughs> No! Forgot the key like 900 times. Okay, so 3 is already listening to 7. And it needs to be transmitting to two. This number is eight. So we're almost there. Nine. One. Two. And then we go back to two. So it is already transmitting to nine and it needs to listen to three. Right now it's on where seven would be. Two, three. Dense jungle. Yep, that's it's dense. the ruins of an old city. April. We did the thing. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that. So if that's the later, guys. Hello.
wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Hmm. Uh, be there? I go and far there. Hello, Quaman. I'm God. I'm God. God? Who be that? Damn, atheist. God is. Oh, forget it. That's just one big minefield. I was just. That joke is all. Quaman, always the butt of joke. <laughs> but. Where are you, Quaman? That be a secret. Quaman wants to be left alone. Could you please stop snoring? Quaman be snoring? No one ever tell Quaman he be snoring. But then Quaman always be sleeping by his lonesome. No woman like Quaman. Damn. Don't say that about yourself, Quaman. I'm sure that. You know, it's kind of uncomfortable to be discussing this in a public like this. <laughs> yes. Everyone be hearing about Quama now. Whoops. You want to talk about your problems? Face to face? What be the point? I'm a good listener, and I'd like to be your friend. That'd be the point. Quama not sure if he want friend now. Please let me be your friend. Can we be friends? Why? Why? Because I'm lonely too. I don't really know anybody on this island and I need some help. Well, Kwama be wanting to help, but... Okay. Kwama be your friend and talk to you. My secret place be in the ruins of the old temple, by the wells. Follow the stream up from the rock beach, and go right where it branches. Thanks, Colin. I'll be there as soon as I can. Well, there we go. We, we've done the thing now. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why! But Quaman stopped snoring already. Yeah, but how long will that last? Sooner or later he'll go back to sleep, and then he'll start snoring again. I'm not gonna start working only to be interrupted all over again. I mean, I guess. Later, guys! Uh, back into the jungle. We've got Quaman Games. It's another one of those statues come phone booths. They must have been popular in their time. It's a deep well with cold, brackish water and some seriously demented albino fish. How can you tell that from over there? Anyway, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Yeah. So, um... That's Quaman, the not-so-quiet giant. Yeah. Double time, April. Whoa! You are big! You're just about the biggest person I've ever met! Mm -hmm. Quaman be a freak. 
No one be liking him. I didn't mean it that way, I just meant... April, you know just what to say, don't you? I'm sorry. I like tall guys. Really, I do. You be the only one, then. Because no one else want anything to do with Kwaman. Long man is long. How did you come to be on this island? That be a long story. Do you want Kwaman to be telling you? Sure, I have time. Tell me the story. Many long moons ago, Kwaman be happy. He be working at the Circa in Khorasan, where he be big attraction. What did you do? Kwaman be the world's strongest man. He be popular. People come to see him from all the Northlands. Some even from east of the Bay of Fire. But then there be an accident, and the circuit tell Kwaman to leave, that he be dangerous, and that no one be paying to see him anymore. What kind of accident? Kwaman's most popular feat be the breaking of large rocks with his fist. Everyone would applaud when the rock be breaking. Then one day, the Caliph be at the Circa to see the performers. He be saying, Kwaman, I hear of him breaking a large rock with his fist. This I want to see. But my performance be over that day, and there be no rock to break. So the Circa ringmaster, Obron, he be saying, let's get a rock in here, any big rock at all. So they bring in this rock that Kwama never be crushing before. Kwama not be sure if it is a good idea, because rock can be dangerous when it breaks. But Obron be saying, this you must do. The Caliph wants to see. We do not disappoint the Caliph of Khorasan, or we lose our heads. So Kwama break the rock, and when it breaks... What, what happened? There be large pieces of rock flying everywhere, and one piece be hitting the Caliph and one his son. The Caliph be not seriously hurt, but his son be unconscious and bleeding from the head. They say to Kwaman, Run! Get away from the Circa and Khorasan, or the Caliph will have his head. So Kwaman run, and he get passage on ship leaving that night. When the ship passed this island, Kwaman be jumping into sea and swimming ashore. And now he be here. What happened between you and the Orlawal? Oh, Kwaman be so clumsy, so dangerous. He should not be among people. He be only hurting them. The Orlawal be kind, letting Kwaman live and fish in their village. But then Kwaman be stepping over young Orlawal, almost breaking his shell. The Orlawal tell Kwaman to leave village, to not come back because he may kill an Orlawal. They tell him to go as far away as possible. Kwaman be sad because he liked the Olawal and because Kwaman be having the best fishing place in all of Elias. He lose his friends and his food. What do you eat now? Kwaman fish in these wells here, but the fish that live down there be small and not very tasty. And that's pretty much what I was thinking there, Jewel. Would you like to move back to the Orlawal village? Oh, yes. Kwaman be wishing that more than anything in the world. I saw an Orlawal down by the beach, just outside the village. It seemed to be in pain, but I didn't know what to do. 
Perhaps if you come along, you can help him out and get back in favor with the Orlowal people. Yes, perhaps Quamon can help. Even if the Orlowal do not want him back. Here it is, the, uh, Orlowal? Can you help it? Perhaps Quamon can help. Poor Orlowal. He'd be crying for help. Uh, Quamon see what be wrong. The Orlowal not shed its shell when time come, and now it be stuck in the shell. Why didn't the other Orlowal come to its assistance? Their claws be no good for this work. They be helpless. But Quamon help. Quamon be good with his hands. Quamon be happy. Quamon accept your graceful thanks, sir. Thank you. You be making Quamon very happy. Quamon accept your offer and be grateful to the All Wall people. Thank you very much. What? What did he say? Why did you thank him? Olawal be inviting Kwaman to stay on the cliff above the village, where he can fish again. Kwaman be very, very happy now. You understand what it's saying? Olawal language be easy to understand. It be just click and clack and clock. I'm so happy for you, Kwaman. Go on, don't let me hold you back. Yay, we were helpful. Helpful, yay. Um, I don't know, let's go talk to him again. Hey, Quaman, how's the fish biting? With its teeth, but not today. Why is that? Quaman be not certain. The fish always bite before, but then Quaman be having lure. Now no lure, just bait. What do you need to make a lure? Quaman can make lure with just anything, as long as it be colorful and not get heavy in water. You're a real DIY guy, don't you know? Always be something wrong with Quaman. That was actually a compliment. Oh. <laughs> Are you happy now, Quaman? Quaman be happy. He be wanting fish to bite. But if they do not, Quaman still be happy. Oh. Can I borrow your fishing rod? Quaman must catch fish first. So he can eat. After Kwama and catch fish, April can borrow fishing rod. Happy fishing. Thank you. Could this wrapper work as a lure? Yes. Yes, with some work. It'd be perfect for a lure. Now Quaman can make one, and hopefully catch many fish. All right. So we have uh, we have done the the whole uh, the whole candy arc here. So now let's go talk to the uh, the stickman. Spin. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that. But Quaman has moved back to the Orlowal village. He's not going to disturb you again. Trust me. Really? How the heck did that happen? Nah, I don't care. Oops. I keep right-clicking by accident, like, all the time.
My fingers are a bit heavy. They fingin. Come on, guys. Get going. Oh my goodness. How's it going? Almost there. Oh, uh, one tiny little problem, though. And that is? We don't have a bowstring for our... Uh, uh... Propulsion drive mechanism, Wick. Uh, what he said, uh, yeah, we need a bowstring. Uh, something strong and flexible and sinewy. Like what? I don't know, lady. I'm no engineer. I'm just a supervisor. String made from animal guts would be perfect. Yeah, but look at us. Do we look like the kind of stick men who'd make good hunters? Do you see me going after a gank beast carrying what? A cone? A dry leaf sharpened to a razor edge? I'll just make a grenade out of the cone. It's fine. Okay, I guess this isn't it then. It's a long rope. Hmm. I'd be happy to talk to you later, but I got some fine tuning to do before I'm done. Okay. Can't talk. Busy. What a good conversation! Um... Maybe now that it's been a minute. Did my Laura work okay? It'd be working very good. Quaman catch a large, tasty fish very quickly. April be wanting a taste? Uh, no. No offense. I'm just not too fond of seafood. This not be seafood. It be human food. What's Kwaman gonna be doing now? Kwaman be sitting here until the sun sets. Then he be going to sleep. And tomorrow? Kwaman be deciding that when he wakes up in the morning. Man, you got relaxing down to a fine art. Kwaman not be knowing anything about fine art. He be a Philistine. Okay. I'll see you later, Kwaman. So will I. Goodbye. Now, what about your fishing rod, though? Looks like Quaman just had himself a solid lunch. That was quick. There are only bones left of his catch. I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon, but I'll borrow the line. Not even asking. It's Quaman's fishing rod. Ah, uh, man, some people j just need to do the spinny. Also, yeah, Quaman. Kinda, kinda got his life all figured out. As much as he needs to. Like, yep, I caught a fish. Now I'm gonna eat the fish. Now I'm just gonna sit here until it's sunset and then go to bed. What do I do tomorrow? I'll figure that out tomorrow. Can you 
use. This is bowstring for your, uh, lunar cannon? Let me see that. Oh, yeah, that gonna work good. All right, listen up. I got us what we need. And now we finish this damn cannon. Go to work, people. Give us a few minutes, lady, and we'll be all done. It's a pretty good beat. It was a pretty good beat. Really it making worked. use of our resources here. Of course it worked, you wood-brained fool! I built it! Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? Well what? Are you gonna do it? Do what? <laughs> Test the cannon. Me? And get myself killed? I think not. But go ahead, be my guest. I don't think I'll fit in there. That ain't my problem. Well... Yup, the cannon is done. I feel like sleeping for a year or two. Hey, all done. And we did absolutely nothing. As usual, aside from shouting a lot and kicking mine in Woody's arse. Want a fish bone? What's the story, fish bone? Without a hook, there's not much point in shooting the rope across. It's not going to tie itself to the tree. A hook, you say? Aha! What about now? I'll just place the hook along the bowstring, like so, and let the rope trail behind it. Okay, we're ready to fire. Can I test the cannon? Be my guest. Uh, how how do you test cannon? I look like a real sailor. Yes, yes. Yup, the cannon. All done. Work complete. Also, I pretty much had that idea at the same time as you were typing it out, so we'll be tied with that. Oh, there we go, lever. All right, forward progress. There's a slight updraft here. The wind is channeled through that chasm down there and blown out and up here. Dust and dry leaves caught in a strong updraft. Can you help me across? You are human. And we don't allow human strangers into our village. If you wish to trade, let us know where your ship is anchored and we will send traders to you with our merchandise. I don't have a ship, and I didn't come here to trade. I came to talk to your leaders. I'm sorry, but we don't allow strangers into our village. What's up this road? The Alation village of Tama. Tama. Where's the Alation village of Tama? Up this road and into the volcano. Isn't it dangerous to live inside a volcano? This volcano has not erupted for thousands of years, and the gods protect us. We are safe here. Uh huh, that's what they said in Pompeii. Is there another way to get into the volcano? No, this pass is the only way. I mean, you would say that. I'm sure there's a secret cave somewhere that leads into the volcano. 
No, there isn't. There's always a secret cave. <laughs> Not here. Are you absolutely sure there's no secret cave? Human, you talk too much, even <laughs> for an elation. Okay, well, what if I was a traitor? Actually, I am a traitor. Where is your ship anchored? In, um, Coconut Grove? There is no Coconut Grove on Elias. So, I'm not a traitor. But I am a friend of the Alation people. We don't know you. There is no friendship between strangers, human. Don't your people have a prophecy about a stranger who comes without a ship? Or something like that? I don't know of any prophecies, human. What kind of prophecies do you know about? None. We don't tell our stories to strangers. Thank you. Yes, but you must leave now. This, uh, friendly guy, it's like he, he's like, I don't know anything about prophecies, but what prophecies do you, I just told you, I don't know anything about prophecies. You know what? What if I show you this now? What if I show you everything in my inventory? Not interested. Thank you. Yes. I let this updraft. Oh. Oh, that's, that's the, the last of it, unfortunately. Yeah, this this is the light as a leaf potion, right? Dust and dry leaves caught in a strong updraft. No, that's the wind potion. Aha! Oh god, I think I'm gonna throw up. That was so not appetizing. Weirdest thing, though. I do feel lighter. Like I lost 90 pounds. I can't even imagine what people would pay for this stuff back home. Ah! Whee! Uh. Human! You flew across the chasm. You don't have wings, but still, you fly like the elation. Believe me, I'm as shocked as you are. Are you the Windbringer? I sure am. Yes, I am. This is an exciting day. Uh, remind me again who the Windbringer is. It's said that someone not of the elation shall come among us to float on the wind like an elation to learn our stories, to bring the wind back to us, and to bring us into a new and happier age. Is that all? You know, I'm starting to forget how simple my life used to be. Family, friends, grades, boys, no prophecies, nobody looking to me for salvation. I don't understand, Windbringer. You should speak with our teller up in the city. She'll be wanting to see you, I'm sure. We've waited for the Windbringer for a very long time. The Teller? Thanks. No, Windbringer. Thank you. Well, he, uh, he lightened up pretty, pretty gosh darn quick. It's an old man, I think. Difficult to tell, since they're all kind of wrinkly. Damn. Hello. Good day, stranger. What would you hear among the elation? I need to speak with the teller. The teller? Uh, go down into the city and you will see the castle. The teller, she keeps to the tower. She's old and her eyes don't take well to the sun. Okie doke. It's a little Alation girl. How do we know it's a girl? Like, with all due respect, we don't even know anything about the species. Hi there. What you doing? Playing. Yeah? What are you playing? Nothing. My daddy's in the castle watch. He's allowed to sharpen his claws. 
Really? My daddy owns a farm. Yeah? Do you have animals there? Sure. He has some cows and some horses and... What? What's cows and horses? Well, cows are big, brown, fat animals with four legs and white spots. And they go moo a lot. <laughs> and horses? Horses are fun to be around. They run really fast, and they can jump over tall fences, and they look beautiful and graceful. But the best thing about horses is that you can ride them. I can run fast, too. But I can't fly yet. My wings aren't fully formed. But when I grow up, I'll fly far away and see everything. I'll go see our horses. That would be nice. My name's April. What's yours? Saina. Will you be my friend, April? Of course, Saina, as long as you promise to be my friend. I promise. Do you know where the teller lives? Over there in the castle tower. My daddy's watching the entrance so that only nice people can get in. Do you think he'll let me in? I don't know if you're nice, but you have to ask my daddy. Where are the other children in your village? Oh, they're in school now. And why aren't you in school? Because I'm ahead of everyone else. I'm really smart, you know. I'm the only youngling to have learned the first tale this soon. So some days, I get to do what I want. It's a little boring, though. I wish I was in school. At least there I could sing and play and jump around with all the other children. Why don't you go to school anyway? Because they say I would just distract the other children who are still learning their first tales. It's not fair. I mean, I get to play by myself and everything, but that's not fun all day. And my mommy's working on her pottery at home, and she doesn't want me disturbing her because she might make a mistake. But the day after tomorrow, I get to go back to school because then we're going to learn some more flying lessons. They're always a lot of fun. And I'm getting pretty good at that, too. I bet. I wish I had wings like you do. Yes, they're very good to have when you fly. Have fun, Saina. Are you leaving? Yes, I'm sorry, but there are some things I have to do. Grown-ups are always too busy. Oh, definitely. Um, let's see. It's a nest. They don't all seem to live in nests, though. There are quite a few inhabited buildings in this village. That's about everything except for this dude. Oh, wait. This scrolls to the right here. It's a young Alation female working with clay. Be careful, don't come too close. I'm almost done with this pot. Sorry. Are you here to buy pottery? I didn't think traders were allowed up here. No, I came to speak with your teller. Really? I didn't know the teller spoke with anyone from the outside. You must be a very special girl. Supposedly. My name's April, by the way. Nima is my name. Nima of Taama. The only Alation village on Alais. I like your pottery. It's our craft. That and storytelling. But storytelling can't buy merchandise or food. I mean, it can I know sometimes. a lot of people who live by telling stories, although I guess that's kind of different. They are lucky, then. Not that I don't enjoy making pottery. It's good to feel the wet clay between my claws, to shape it into whatever I wish. It's almost like creating a new life, I think. I don't have a husband yet, so I haven't tried. Have you? Do you have a husband and children? Neither, thank God. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I was 18 turnings this spring. I'm ready for a husband, but I've yet to court anyone who could make me soar on the winds. I think the men of Tom are dull and timid. Damn. What about the guard on the road below the village? He's our age, isn't he? Isam? He's quite pretty. And his wings are big, but I don't think he likes me. He never looks at me or talks to me. That doesn't mean anything. He could just be shy. Maybe you could talk to him, find out who he likes. But don't say I sent you. 
Sure, I can do that. Thank you, April. Thank you, Nima. You're welcome, April. It's a very strange end to that conversation. I guess it makes sense that you would, you know, be friendly with everyone in town here. And make friends, get some, uh, some reputation points. So, Isam, that's your name, isn't it? Yes, Isam of Tama. A good-looking guy like you must get a lot of attention from the girls, right? Are you asking me for courtship? Me? N no. Wings don't do anything for me. No, I was just thinking, maybe you had your eye out for somebody special? I'm without a mate. The women of Tama are cold and unfriendly, and whenever I try to talk to one of them, she ignores me. Huh. Even Nima? Nima? No, she's too pretty for me. She won't appreciate my attention. This is like high school. <laughs> Trust me, Isam. You go talk to her one of these days, and I'm sure you'll find you have a lot in common. Just be yourself, okay? You think so? Perhaps you are right. I will do as you say, Windbringer. Thank you. Thanks for your help. You should go see the teller. She'll want to speak with you. Yeah, the problem, the problem with me trying to be myself is the moment I start trying to be myself, I forget how to be myself. Nature's reclaiming lost ground. The contrast between wilderness and civilization is such a striking image. I almost wish I had my canvas and paints with me now. Go talk to Nima again. Hi, Nima. Hi, April. Bye, Nima. <laughs> Goodbye, April. Hello. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why is he perched on top of that pillar? Halt! Who would visit the teller? I'm the Windbringer. The Windbringer? You are not the Windbringer. Are you? How else would I have been able to get up here? I am the Windbringer. If so, you must prove that you are of the elation. There are four tales from the four corners of the world that you must know by heart. They are the tale of winds, the tale of stars, the tale of sea, and the tale of homecoming. I will ask you one question from each tale, and you must answer each correctly, or you cannot be the windbringer. Are you ready? No, give me some time to prepare. Then return when you are ready and I will test your knowledge of the four tales. So I'm gonna guess that probably uh, unlocked a story, uh, a story trigger. And uh, Sayana here specifically stated that uh, she went to school to learn the first tale. There are four people here who we have so far talked to and I bet that we can probably learn a tale from each one of them. And this learning of tales is gonna have to wait until next time because we are about to about that time now. So, um, thank you for hanging out. Uh, thanks to uh, Alex, Zero, J-Pop, Jewel, Donut, Foose, and Zen. Uh, thanks to J-Pop and Zero for your resubs. J-Pop and Zero, right? Yes. Uh, so the next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Arc Battle shenanigans. Now it takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next, um, to our next long run stream. 
next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And hopefully we can finish the I don't know how far we are from finishing the game, but like based on the estimate from um, how long to be, we should be pretty close. Who knows? I am also going to be doing some commentary on Friday at 8, I believe. Let me let me double check the um the, my calendar here. Yeah, 8 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to be doing some more commentary on the Time Spinner Randomizer Tournament. Uh, it should be a pretty interesting match. We got Primdoll, who is the um, last year's winner, along with Plainswater, which is last year's runner-up. Uh, the other commentator is Wef Jebster, who is third place. And then there's me! <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm going to be bringing the action. I don't know which channel that's going to be on. Uh, so all I can say is uh, keep track of my socials, especially my co-host, co-host.org slash coolio.mzx. I will probably be posting about it over there. Um, I'm not going to be broadcasting anything on my end because I'm not playing. Unfortunately, I'm out of the tournament, but yeah, it should be pretty fun to watch. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio, if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>